Well, I, I sort of decided midway through college, um, I started learning more about Native Hawaiian sovereignty, um, basically just the state of affairs for Native Hawaiians. And through that, I learned about the health status of Hawaiians. And in general, it's pretty poor um, when compared to the other people in Hawaii. Um, just countless health measures, cancer, cardiovascular disease, diabetes. It just seems like always um, Native Hawaiians seem to be in a, in a generally poor state when compared to other people. So I saw that as, um, because of that, a potential way to help my people, to um, you know, bring up the community. At the same time, I, I started studying um, sort of sociology about healthcare. And uh, I realized that overall in this country, I guess you probably say around the world, but folks are in this country that um, there are deficiencies in healthcare, that we're not reaching certain populations. Um, and the same way in a, just a general humanist standpoint, I felt like I could be part of that solution and that excited me. I think it's important, especially since we're talking about cancer, <clears throat> that when we started, cancer was, was spoken as the big C behind a hand and we couldn't even say the word cancer. And today, few of us are at least opening up to talk about it, sharing that. Um, I think I would like to see our community realize that getting screened, um, early detection for the cancer is so important, your survival. And I think many of the literature say, you know, do it for yourself, get in, take care of yourself. I think the message to our community would be, do it for your grandchildren, do it for your family. Well, the thing I think I would say is that, especially for Native Hawaiians, um, you know, there's a thing that, there's a term that we always use called kuleana, which is basically your responsibility. And, you know, for me, you know, there are different ways you can look at that word in terms of kuleana. And for me, my kuleana has always been health and helping to take care of people. And that's part of, of who I am and what I feel my kuleana is. But I think part of that too, is that as a parent, as a son, as a daughter, as a grandfather, whatever your role is within that family, you have a kuleana to everyone else in that family. And you look to your family, look to your community. I think Pacific Islanders, Islanders are quick to look to spirituality, to look to, say, a church leader. But your doctor is another place to look. Um, and they're all components of health. They're all important, important parts to um, to include. So I feel like as a health professional, I want to be there for that role. And I'd hope that our community looks at us in that way. And we can fill those shoes. We can fill our kuleana that way. Healthcare practitioners are not some other person. You know, we're your cousin, we're your uncle, we're your, you know, so we're you know, we're basically, you know, part of your family and, 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 you know, we really want to be there to help you to make sure that you can, you know, keep true to that kuleana and be there for your family, you know, for as long as you can. When my family originally moved to California, uh, moving here was really tough for my mom. And, uh, you know, she only grew up living on a small island in the middle of the Pacific and coming to California and, you know, being in here and everyone thought she was Mexican and they're all speaking to her in Spanish and she's kind of like, no, you know, <laughs> and uh, in that and then also being so far away from home, I mean, she really didn't have any relatives here on the mainland and uh, it was really a tough transition for her being away from family and not having, um, you know, I think a lot of the comforts of home and whether it's just being family being closed or the foods that you like to eat or the things that you like to do that just really aren't uh, here for you now, it, it makes it um, a little bit more difficult. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I think it's important that if those situations come up, that you find ways to cope with it, whether it be finding a, a cultural group in your area where you can find people that identify with you, that, you know, you can share stories and, and find things that you can do that you enjoy, um, or whether it be, um, you know, if you're dealing with things like depression or things like that, that you can always, you know, go and see your physician and, and, and see if, uh, you know, if there's anything that they can do to help you with that. And, um, yeah. It's important that uh, even when you feel good 
And even when you're, you know, I'm, you know, for instance, I'm, you know, I'm in my, my 30s and I feel still, you know, relatively young and, and healthy. But that doesn't mean that I shouldn't still go to the doctor and get my blood pressure checked and have my cholesterol checked and, and have them just, you know, physically examine me. And, and I think that's really important because actually when I got my cholesterol checked about a couple months ago, my cholesterol wasn't as good as it probably should be. And, uh, and I'm not on medication, but at the same point, you know, I realized I got to exercise a little more and maybe cut back on a few things and you know lose a little bit of weight and and that sort of thing and so I think it's you know it's important for all of us you know just to um, realize that you know you shouldn't wait till you get sick uh, to go to the doctor um, and you shouldn't wait till you're 60 to go to the doctor you know you really should start seeing your doctor regularly at a young age and I think it's it's important for our kids you know whether you're a parent taking your daughter or son to the doctor, um, or you yourself are taking yourself to, your, to the doctor, that even at a young age, you know, you should be stopping in at a regular, you know, period of time just to see how you're doing. Um, we kind of, we do it with our cars. We take our car in for a oil change and things like that. Why wouldn't we do it for ourselves? So I think it's, uh, it's uh, something important for all of us. I think it's important to get screened, get screened early, your chance of survival. Um, it isn't the cancer that our parents knew. Cancer treatment today has changed, and even the 18 years that Vic's been under treatment, there are better treatments, there are less caustic treatments, and you've got options. So to study, learn as much as you can about your illness, and get the best opinions you possible before making a decision. So an informed decision is really critical, and unfortunately our community not comfortable with medical terminology in the medical system. They tend to not ask the questions, and if nothing else, we can ask them. Take an opportunity to think about it, call others who may have experienced it, share it with others, talk among ourselves, and learn the options, because they are opportunities that our grandparents, our parents have never had the opportunity, and even you. Treatment over the last 18 years has changed. And so it's important to get the best treatment possible. I, I think a big part of staying healthy, whether you're, you know, in Hawaii or if you're in California, is is really finding those um, groups. And you know, it could be, you know, a Native Hawaiian group or, or a different cultural group that you're, um, you know, that you can identify with, that you want to be a part of. Um, and a lot of that can help you not only. I guess find people that you have you know common uh, cultural backgrounds with, but also you know finding people that you can interact with, that you can develop relationships with, and then also finding things that you can do that, that keep you active, uh, whether that's hula or, or playing music or you know um, going back to more traditional diets that usually tend to be much more healthy than Western diets. Um, and I think kind of perpetuating those things within our cultures wherever you are um, is really going to lead to, you know, having a, a healthier uh, a life.